हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ सुभाष नागर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर आई सर वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन ऑफ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट फर्स्ट द टॉपिक इज वर्क एंड एनर्जी पार्ट फर्स्ट इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन वर्क यूनिट्स ऑफ वर्क रिलेशन बिटवीन जूल एंड अर्क एंड पॉजिटिव निगेटिव एंड जीरो वर्क फ्रेंड्स दिस वर्क एंड एनर्जी टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी क्लोजली रिलेटिंग टू अवर डेली एक्टिविटीज द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस चैप्टर आर वर्क एनर्जी मैकेनिकल एनर्जी लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी फ्री फॉल ऑल दिस आर द टोटल कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन टू द वर्क यू मे नाउ ऑब्जर्व द adjoining figures and think here four figures are there a girl is studying a boy is playing with the ball one more girl is going to observe the tv and one person is standing with a load friends generally any mental or physical work activity is referred to as a work when we walk or run the energy in our body is used to do the necessary work we say that a girl who is studying is working or performing work but that is a mental work in physics we deal with physical work work has a special meaning in the physics so what does this mean work is said to be done when a force applied on an object causes displacement of the object we know that the work done that is w by force acting on the object is the product of the magnitude of the force f and the displacement s of the object in the direction of the force so thus we can write work is equal to force into displacement symbolically it can be written as w is equal to f into s where w is the work done f is the force and s is the displacement friends now what are the units of work that we will see we know that work is equal to force into displacement In SI system, the unit of force is newton, and the unit of displacement is meter. Thus, the unit of force will be newton meter. This newton meter is called as a joule. So, one joule. How it could be defined? If a force of one newton displaces an object through a one meter in the direction of the force, the amount of work done on the object is said to be one joule. therefore one joule is equal to we can write 1 newton into 1 meter therefore 1j is equal to 1n into 1m in cg system the unit of force is dyne and that of displacement is centimeter thus the unit of work done is a dyne centimeter this dyne centimeter is called as a arc so friends one arc is defined as If a force of one dyne displaces an object through one centimeter in the direction of the force, the amount of work done is said to be one arc. Therefore, you can write one arc is equal to one dyne into one centimeter. What is the relation between this joule and arc? We know that, friends, one newton is equal to ten to the power five dyne, and one meter is equal to ten to the power two centimeter, means hundred centimeter. But work is nothing but a force into displacement. the unit of work is 1 joule force is 1 newton and displacement is 1 meter therefore we can write 1 joule is equal to just we wrote with brown color 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 5 dyne that will write here and 1 meter is equal to 10 to the power 2 cm here we can use the laws of indices so 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 2 is 10 to the power 5 plus 2 which is equal to 10 to the power 7 dyne cm but dyne cm is nothing but or therefore you can write 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 arc this is the relation between this while solving the problems this will require the convergence friends we will now see applied force and the displacement of an object when a child pulls a toy with the help of a string the direction of the force is different from that of the displacement in such case the direction of force makes an angle with the direction of displacement let us see how to calculate the work done in such cases please observe this figure this toy is pulled by this girl 
When a child pulls a toy cart, force is applied along the direction of the string while the cart is pulled along the horizontal surface. In this case, in order to calculate the amount of work done, we have to convert the applied force into the force acting along the direction of the displacement, means along the horizontal line. So, you can see here, a pan is pulling some object. The applied force direction is different and the force component along the horizontal surface is F1 which is shown with red color and whose value is F cos theta how it comes by the trigonometry. Here friends let F be the applied force and F1 be the component of the direction of the displacement. Let S be the displacement the amount of work done is given by W is equal to F1 into S. F1 is the force along the direction of the displacement S is the displacement. So, we will continue. The same figure is drawn once again. So, it will be easy for you. The force F is applied in the direction of the string that is at the angle with the horizontal. Let theta be the angle that the string makes with the horizontal. We can determine the component F1 of this force F which acts in the horizontal direction by means of trigonometry. So, in trigonometry cos theta is nothing but addition side upon hypotenuse. Here the right angle triangle is formed. Therefore, adjacent side is theta's adjacent side is F1 and hypotenuse is the applied force F. Therefore, cos theta is equal to F1 upon F. Therefore, you can write F1 is equal to F cos theta. This is statement 1. Thus, the work done by F1 is W is equal to F1 into S. Now, substitute the value of F1 from statement 1. You are getting W is equal to F cos theta into S means you can write W is equal to F S cos theta. Now positive, negative and zero work. Positive work. When the force and the displacement are in the same direction that is theta is equal to zero, the work done by the force is positive. See in this figure. Second example, kicking a football, moving a chair, throwing a stone. Riding a bicycle, doctors moving a patient in wheelchair, striking a pen into another pen, riding a skateboard, pushing and moving a table. These are examples of the positive work because the displacement is in the direction of the applied force and the angle is zero. Now we will see negative four work. See this figure here. When the force and the displacement are in opposite directions that is theta is equal to 180 degree the work done by the force is negative the examples are in tug of war when opponent team will pulls hard pushing a car up a hill when you slip back trying to catch a heavy object and smooth down when you jump work done by gravity is negative after you press a spring it relaxes opposite direction a car moving on a road, work done by the friction is negative. These are the different examples that give you an idea regarding the negative work. Now the last one, zero work. You can see here two persons. When the applied force does not cause any displacement or when the force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other, that is theta is equal to 90 in the second figure, the work done by the force is zero. Examples are a man trying to push a wall, blocking sliding over a smooth surface, sitting in a chair, work done in circular motion, car running over frictionless surface, a man standing still, an object wandered in space. All these are showing the zero work. So, friends, I think all of you understood till now. What you have been discussed is first work, then units of work relationship between the joule and arc, applied force and displacement of an object, positive, negative and zero work. So, you may try these problems, write it in your notebook, define the following terms, work, one joule, one arc, write the SI and CJ units of work, derive mathematical equation of the work, write the examples of positive, negative and zero work. So friends, you should not forget the famous words of Albert Einstein. The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. Very nice wording.
it is the source of all true art and science friends if you like this video subscribe and share with these words i would like to say thank you